Afternoon all and uh, welcome to Hubs Reef. This is my first video so please bear with me. Um, I do have plans to do quite a few more um, and be active on on all social media platforms. Um, this is just a little quick update on the Reefer 350. Uh, now this system is um, approximately 18 months old. Um, it's still quite a, a young tank um, whilst it does look quite mature in terms of corals it is still in its in its young young stage um, there's a couple of a couple of issues that I don't like with the tank currently um, as you can see the rocks are all covered in this sort of um, barnacle looking things and also I've got an abundance of Aptasia um, which is causing a bit of a headache to try and get rid of I've tried all sorts um, the the last the last thing I can try is some Bergia nuda branches, but the only problem is with those is I have quite a few rasses, and um, they they quite like them. They've got a bit of a taste for them. So um, my plans are to upgrade this system, which I will do a full full build through on YouTube in all different parts of it, from the planning to the installation, and then its life cycle. I am quite happy with the tank so people have asked me why am I upgrading uh, the reason why is the um, wife wants to wants to change the living room round and um, I had convinced her to go for a peninsula five foot peninsula um, but unfortunately it, it didn't quite work out that way and the sofa we sofa we wanted didn't quite fit with the peninsula so therefore we've I've made a bit of a compromise and instead I'm going for a six by two by two system which is a standard uh, standard system against a wall but I'm looking to possibly put the weir in a back corner out of the way and to help flow down the down the length of the tank as I do plan to have a, a, an SPS dominant system um, this is as it stands is a bit of a mixed reef with a lot of SPS as you can see, I'm getting some incredible growth at the moment. And this is all due down to uh, adding a CO2 scrubber. Now I did a lot of reading on them and I'll do a, a video later later on in the next couple of weeks, possibly on, on my sump system and how I like to run things and how I get the results I do. This was just an overview of the display um, as a quick first video. Obviously, I'm going to be learning quite a lot over the next couple of months on YouTube delivery and how to execute things and also equipment. But I just wanted to see how it would go first of all. And um, as you can see, I've got a Glamorca Gyre. Uh, best bit of kit I've added to the tank just behind the Clarity. Um, the flow out of it is phenomenal. Currently, it's, it goes from 10% to 20% to 30% and then back again. Uh, the flow that's added in here is absolutely second to none. As you can see, it flows all the way around the tank and hits the GSP in the bottom here. And I've got quite a lot of polyp extension on my millies. And they're flowing nicely. Again, on the frag rack, which I'm getting some incredible growth from a tricolour, which I will add some some progress pictures onto the Instagram. The Instagram is Hubs Reef, same as the YouTube. Uh, if you want to keep an eye out on that, I'll add some constant pictures of corals and their growth rates, amongst other things. Um, the tank is, is fairly well stocked, as you can see. It's got a medium-ish size, where it's more of a small, small medium-sized regal tank. Uh, this that fish has been in here now for just over a year. Um, it did. We did have a bit of a white spot um, mixed with limp, mixed with velvet, and I uh, had to strip the tank and let it go fallow. And they went into, into quarantine with chloroquine phosphate. We did have a few losses, but that and the fox face made it through fairly fairly well. Uh, lost a bit of colour. Went a little bit thin, but as soon as they were back in the main display, backed up to colour. And eating well um, we've got a pair of clowns 
Now these were sold as, as common clowns, but they they look a bit more like mock account clowns, and they're they're quite nice. It's another one of the wife's choice, and she likes those quite well. We do have a shoal of six anthias. Sorry, not anthias. Green chromis. Sorry, I do apologise. And they add that little bit of activity to the tank. We've got various wrasses. We've got the Naoko wrasse, the red-headed Solon fairy wrasse. We've also got the exquisite wrasse. He's a fairly new addition in the last couple of months. Um, we've got a pink belly wrasse, who is an absolute bugger. And um, I assume when we upgrade, he will be coming out and being rehomed. Um, as he likes to chase everything else, any other additions off and subsequently kills them so he will be coming out unfortunately i don't want to destroy the tank to get him out because it will be a bit of a bugger again that there we've got a bit of an, a nice royal grammar this is one of the wife's favorites is is one of his choice one of her choices and um it adds a little bit of color and diversity into the tank again we've got some work we've got working fish down here which is an orange spot goby he does he's doing his job which he's quite confident at doing um we will be adding another one into the big system as there'll be quite a big sand bed in the six foot system. As for fish, I think that's that's pretty much about it. No, we've got the uh, convict Tang, who is, he was a baby, and um, we bought him from um, AAC down in Harlow, and he's got bigger and bigger, and um, hopefully in the new system he will grow on to be quite, quite a large fish, as large as they get anyway. Um, do have a yellow back anthea here. I'm sure there's a there's, there's a more better name for it, but um, we did have three. Um, two died, unfortunately. We have got the auto feeder set on top of the lights up there. Feeds three times a day. They also get a, um, a feed of mysis in the evening, um, along amongst other things. They do get overfed. The filtration can, filtration copes with it quite well. And there's another fish at the back there. This is the algae blenny. He's a great little fish. We call him Grandad because he looks like a looks like an old man, and uh, so we like him. He, he's quite characteristic. Um, as you can see, the aptasia problem is quite is quite bad, um, and we will be starting with new rock in the new system. Hopefully, in the next next month or so. Um, it could be a little bit longer by the time it's built, as we're going to go for a custom build. Um, as you can see, a nice end shot, crystal clear water. That's taken care of by the Clarity, which is an absolutely phenomenal piece of kit. I've got quite a few, quite a few zoophrags here. Um, unfortunately, I've lost quite a few. A uh, bit, a bit of a mass melting. Um, I had an ICP done, and um, I was quite low on iodine, so this has all been bumped up and uh, it's back to normal now. Um, I've also upped the iodine into my supplements, which I'll go through on another video. Um, so therefore, it's um, they're coping well. Some of them are bouncing back, they're getting a bit of color, getting some growth. I need to take them out and just get rid of some aptasia that's in there. This is my SPS frag rack. And these, th these are relatively new. And um, we had a couple, the blue one there, and the, the blue teenius there, the, we had a little bit of, of stripping, um, so we, we've had to frag them again. But they seem to be doing quite well, I mean, especially the, especially the blue one in here, getting some great polyp extension, and that, that seems to be doing really well. I've got a lovely tricolour here, which is it's doing phenomenally. And uh, I'm going to get some progress pictures on that one, just so everyone can see how that one's doing. Some nice... Some nice Montes, which they start. I think they're going to be one of them. It's looking to be an Appleberry, which is that one there. And up here, it's hard to tell. I'll try and get it from the top. Um, I'll get a, I'll get a picture of that and put it on the Instagram. That's a beach bum. Now that was that came from a very very tiny frag of. A, of a, a mini colony I had of that um, and I cut that little bit off for myself as a bit of a safety precaution and that seems to be doing better and since I've, I've got rid of the the rest of it and, and swapped it for a very nice frag um, which 
in time will colour up and that will also be on the Instagram as it colours up and you can watch its journey. Got a nice purple Millie here, as you can see I do like my SPS, I do like my Millie Porous because it adds that little bit of polyp extension of flow. See this is a freshly fragged um, in the last three weeks I believe and it's got a nice basing out system on there. All corals seem to be basing out really well. Um, I'll try and get some old photos that I had before um, and then you can see you can see the growth rates. My Montipora Histiata is doing phenomenally well. Again I'll get a better picture from the top and put it on the Instagram but I mean even underneath you've got that colour which is very rare uh, that you get that because it's in the shade. Um, I've been overrun by bubble tip anemones. Um, I did. I originally had one. I've already sold ten, and I've got another twelve. Um, so they'll be going. They won't be in the new system, and we won't be having that at all. Uh, they seem to just run riot, and the clowns don't host them at all. So obviously the flow, the flow in the tanks provided by the. The Glamorca gyre, or gyra, and then on the other uh, other side, I've got a Jbo RW8, which has never really skipped a beat. Um, so we'll be uh, continuing to use that, and potentially adding another another couple of power heads in the upgrade. Lighting, as for lighting on the main tank. We've got two Hydra 26 HDs. Now these came with a tank. Obviously bought the deluxe, um, so you get the so you get the nice flexible bracket for maintenance. If I'm honest, I've never used that. I just take the the mesh lid off, and that's plenty. And then I've got the AI Prime HD in the middle, just to add that little bit of extra light. Now that came with a Red C Max Nano that I had for about two months, and it didn't quite work how I wanted it to work out. Therefore, I sold it, but I wanted to keep the light as it's a great light. Um, originally I did have it in the sump area as a as a bit of a frag area um, again that didn't quite work it, it, it started out all right but then the algae was growing in there and it was causing all different types of problems so I managed to get myself a couple of the um, magnetic frag racks acrylic ones and, and use them instead um, going forward I'll have a I'll have a few in the a few in the upgrade um, so yeah, so that just gives a bit of a, a bit of a general overview on the display. Um, obviously, over the next few weeks and next couple of months, I'll be doing some more more updates. Um, I'll be doing one of the sump area and the filtration. Um, I'll do one on my dosing regime and what I use and, and what sort of benefits I've got. Um, and I'll also do one on lighting schedule because I think it's really important your lighting and getting that right. Um, so well, thank you for watching. Um, again, if you want to pop over to Instagram under Hubs Reef uh, and give it a follow, um, I'll be putting up some pictures and more pictures constantly. I did pick up a nice Millie frag today, which is currently in the sump acclimating. So when that's, I'll get some pictures of that up once I've got that stuck down, and hopefully that will be nice and starting to settle in the next couple of days and get some polyp extension and I can get a nice little quick video and put it on the Instagram for you folks. Okay, thank you very much and see you soon.